So this Toro lawnmower takes about 10 poles or so to get it started. Carburetor likely needs to be cleaned out. Now, though this video is about a Toro, any lawnmower with this style Briggs and Stratton engine on it, this is gonna be pretty much the same thing. Whether it's got the primer ball here or not, the procedure is 99% similar. So what we're gonna do first is pull off the air box. I've already gone through and serviced this machine, but I've not messed with the carburetor. I was saving that for this particular video. Of course, before I forget, got my fuel line pinchers here. Find a good spot on the fuel line. Just do that number with them. Now for the one part that is different, we're gonna have to take off the vein for the automatic choke. It's pretty simple. It's just a quarter inch bolt right there. We'll just take that off. And you can just let it sit aside. It's not a big deal. We also have to undo this fuel line. So in order to do that, just pull the clamp back. You don't really want to use any more force on this than you have to. But that's how you remove it. Pretty simple, 3-8 socket. And just carefully pull this off. Just like that. So now you just need a half inch socket. Most of the time where these carburetors clog up is through this hole right here and then this hole here at the top. This one doesn't look too bad, but we'll still clean it out. Pull the bowl off. Old gas for sure, but it's not horrible. Pull the pin out and the float, and this little metal piece is the needle. So now we're ready to clean the carburetor out. Now, if they don't clog in that bolt, they like to clog up here in both of these holes. So make sure they're nice and clean. And this one up here. Grab our aforementioned bolt. That's good. Go for the needle, just toss this back in, just like that. Grab your pen. Normally I do replace these gaskets, but I don't have any new ones on hand. So I'm just gonna run with this one. There we go. Back on the machine it goes. So I just cleaned up the mating surface in the back of the air box, gasket back on. Flip the linkage back through. You'll see on the throat there that little black O-ring that's supposed to be there. Sometimes they get left behind there, but you want to make sure that it's either on the carburetor itself or on that neck. You can kind of see it poke out a little bit as I'm moving it around. But that's perfect. Take your two three-eighths bolts. Just cinch them back down.
take this off, let the bowl fill up. I think I put fresh gas in here. As a little bit. So and then if your mower is equipped, you just stick this back on. Now the trick with these is if you're gonna use an impact, make sure you know the tool really well. You've got a variable trigger. You don't wanna put these on too tight. And that's perfect. It's not going anywhere. Make sure the throttle valve still works, it does. Now we're just going to slide the part of the air box back on, put the PCV line back onto that little nipple. Now the trick with all three of these, and mainly these two, is to not put them back on too tight. That's good enough. Just want it to fit snug, I'm not gonna fall off. So now I'm just gonna blow this out with the air hose. I'll put this back on, bring her outside, start her up. Almost looks brand new. So now just to put the beauty cover back on and I'll meet you guys outside. All right, haven't tried to start it yet. Should be all nice and filled up with the bowl.